know I'm a pretty patient person, but this is this is bordering on ridiculous. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is a very exciting video today because it's the first of the cruise prep vlogs and we are doing our cruise supply shopping. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm going to show you what I get. I'm going to look for some clothes. I'm going to look for some skincare. I'm going to, I have a very long list of things to look for and only a very small budget. And actually I forgot to get my coffee, believe it or not. I'm so mad at myself for forgetting to get my coffee first. So we're gonna head into Target first, then we'll get coffee, and then we'll keep going with the shopping. Hopefully I can make it through Target without the coffee because I haven't had any caffeine yet today. And it's 11 o'clock in the, in the morning. So yeah, let's head into Target. We're going to look specifically at the skincare products and the travel products in this store, but you never know what else I might find. So let's head on in. for them. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things we have to buy today, but that's going to be at Walmart. Currently looking for a hair serum because um, there are some skincare things I'm going to take on the cruise because they said that um, the salt air and, and artificial air conditioning can dry things out. It's so awkward vlogging in a store because people keep walking by. Not really sure what I'm even supposed to be getting because all it says is hair serum. So, like, this is for styling hair. That's not what I want. Yeah, it's really weird <laughs> vlogging right now because there's people like customers, but then there's also the people who work here. So, sorry if I'm editing this as a bunch of jump skits because I have to keep putting the phone down. <laughs> I don't so much mind the customers, but the employees make me feel kind of awkward. I don't see anything that is hair serum. It's all for the face, it's for the hands. I guess I should have researched it a bit better. I'm looking for moisturizer for day and night. to be a cream over a lotion. That's a ridiculous price. $13? No thank you. CeraVe has a specifically nighttime one, but $17. Don't have that kind of money. Some clean and clear moisturizer. Moisturizes dry skin, treats and helps prevent pimples. I could do that for Daytime, but I was hoping for a specific nighttime one too. And honestly, for the price of this one, I'll just get the travel size of the better brands. So, 
honestly not even sure if you guys are enjoying this footage or not. I'm being so frustrated. I think I'll get this for the vitamin C. It's not a serum, but I'm gonna try. The serums are way too expensive. They have a night moisturizer too, which I think I'll get. Um, it's kind of expensive, not what I was planning on spending, but it's the only night moisturizer I've found, so we'll try it. Okay, I take it back. I found some vitamin C serum that's not ridiculously expensive. So we're gonna try that. It's even cheaper than the moisturizer I just picked up. Okay, so since I found the night uh, cream and the vitamin C serum, I'm gonna get the travel size of the CeraVe daily moisturizer. Um, it was between this one or the Cetaphil uh, avocado. This one has potassium in it, which I know is an issue for me, so we're gonna get this one. Or serum, I don't know. everything else. Well, that was way more than I was hoping to spend. Uh, that was $57 for the stuff. This is why I don't do skincare, but I've, I read online that skincare is essential on a cruise, so uh, <laughs> yikes. That took a lot of the money that I was spending, planning on spending today, so I don't know where we are at this point, but oh, geez. Um, okay. So let's do a quick, quick haul. I got the CeraVe Daily Moisturizer. I got the Cetaphil Cleanser. This is what I already use. This guy is not getting out of his car, so we're just gonna do this and be awkward about it. <laughs> I got uh, travel packs of Advil. Now I know I mentioned I spent more money than I was planning, but I think some of this stuff may be for both of us because Kim, does skincare but i'm not sure whether you know she's been on cruises before so i'm not sure whether she feels she needs it or not but at least i have it enough for both of us if she does so i guess in the long run that's not that bad for price but just because of my budget i didn't i didn't really love that number but anyway travel toothbrush i very much highly recommend a travel toothbrush when you go on trips because Water is different everywhere. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to use my at-home toothbrush on trips. And I really don't want to have to carry around a full toothbrush and worry about putting it somewhere or like a case for it. This comes with its own case. So it just flips shut. So highly recommend a travel toothbrush when you go on trips. First aid kit, um, not a lot in here, but uh, Kim also has one. So that should be enough band-aids for the whole cruise. In all honesty, I probably didn't need this hydrating cream with aloe um i thought maybe it was good because it has aloe in it just in case we get sunburned which we're hoping not because like i said kim has the sunscreen covered um but it was only 99 cents so i figured let's get it anyway have it on hand just in case this is the hair serum i ended up getting it's a milk serum with bao bibe essence I'm not sure if that's how you say that um it's just for hydrating your hair you just put it in your wet hair and it keeps in the moisture so that the sun and the salt water and stuff doesn't dry it out so that is the serum it's pantene so i'll let you guys know how i what i think about it when i start using it and it was not too bad of a price so i think it was 8.99 i believe this serum was also 8.99 it's the boots vitamin c vitamin c serum i really did want so i'm glad i found it and i didn't have to get that expensive cream <clears throat> I did, however, still get the night cream, which was $11.99 for the trial size, which is, it does, it does, box doesn't even do it justice. I'll show you the actual size of it. Because when they say trial, they mean trial. Which is fine, because I didn't want to get a full one for just a cruise and then not use it afterward. But yeah, this is the size. It's very, very small. So... Let's hope this all is good for the price and actually helps me a little because, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> My fear is that I'm going to use it all and love it all and I'm going to want to buy it all the time and then I'm not going to have the money to use it all the time. So yeah, I got travel thumbs. This is just easier. Travel deodorant. I need a deodorant, but also travel size is great. Um, and this is just a cheaper way to get deodorant. <laughs> And then that's it, believe it or not. That's my $57 haul. 
Sure, now he leaves after I'm done with the haul. Um, anyway, now it's time to head off to a different store in this same mall for clothes. So I need a couple of fancy dresses for fancy dinner nights on the cruise. Actually, I only need one. I have one already, so I only need one. And then I need a couple more pairs of shorts if possible, depending on price. And then we'll see what else there is because I might want a couple more tops too because um, I'm going to get sick of my clothes. But that's going to depend on money because like I said, that took a big chunk in Target. So eh, let's go see what we can find. to try on because I have I wear 18 size jeans now but this is a 20 so I think in this I had to get 20 or 22 so that's a lot and they're only $12 so I might get two pairs I haven't decided okay here's the first dress I love it it is so comfortable and I love just where it ends and I'm not really too thrilled about the strap, but once I do it, perfect. You know, actually, in a bow, it might look better. Um, but it's just, oh, I love it. And I love the flow. And the under part actually ends at the knees, so the rest is just flowy fabric. I love the top. The top is great because I don't have to worry about bra straps. Okay, what do we think of this one? I love the length. But I'm not really thinking it's flattering. I love that it has pockets, but I'm not loving the, the fit. Yeah. Okay, so we're done at Bosco's. That was actually a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. Um, I can't show you the dress because there's just no room in this car, but I ended up getting the black and yellow one, of course, because it's just too pretty to pass up. But I will show you the shorts and I did find a shirt. They gave me a crappy bag with no handles. Why even bother giving me a bag if you're gonna give me a crappy bag? So this is the shirt. I was not, I was gonna walk out without a shirt because I wasn't seeing anything I really loved. It's very hard to show you guys this. But anyway, you can tell it's it's just, you know, like a stripey tropical colors. Um, and it's a V-neck, which I don't love. I was actually getting rid of all of my V-necks. So I may wear something underneath it. I don't know, cause it's gonna be so hot. So I'm not sure how I feel about that, but it was really cheap. So I'm not too worried about it. Worst come worst, it's a house shirt that I can wear in the summer. Yeah, but anyway, I wasn't planning on, I was gonna walk out without a shirt, but it was 60% off. So. so I ended up with the shorts, getting the yellow ones that I tried on. And then I got, I was trying to decide between green and pink because the pink is like a really tropical color. So I was like, oh, that's very appropriate. But I have to also have to wear the shorts after the cruise and I just don't think I'm gonna reach for pink very often. So I got a deep green color in the same size. And they were $12 a piece. So a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but honestly, unless I'm gonna go to Walmart and get the crappy stuff, that's pretty cheap. So I'm happy with those purchases. I'm running out of money. <laughs> But that's okay. We're just gonna, we have to get the stuff that's on the list. I narrowed the list down to the absolute 
have to except for that shirt so we have to get it that's just the if ands or buts about it so i think shoe department has to be next i need another pair of flip-flops um those i may if they're too expensive i may say never mind i'll just get the really cheap stuff for when we like go to the pool or walk on the beach or whatever um because I don't need another pair of flip-flops, but I would like a second pair for just in case, in case mine break or they get wet or whatever. So yeah, I think that's gonna be next. And then we're hitting up Walmart. But first, I desperately need a coffee. I and mean, I need something to eat too. I didn't eat breakfast. So let's head over to Starbucks and get ourselves a delicious coffee. Long wait at Starbucks today. In case you guys are wondering, the way I'm getting these um, driving clips and stuff is that you're prompt, of, you're in between the headrest and the seat, <laughs> the passenger seat. So, welcome to a new perspective, I guess. <laughs> you know, one thing to know is even though I'm spending a lot more money than I was planning on spending, which is slightly making me nervous, uh, I'm enjoying my time, you know, I'm enjoying shopping for cruise supplies and I hope you guys are enjoying it too oh come on what the heck is the hold up we don't even have caramel macchiatos today it shouldn't be taking this long you know I'm a pretty patient person but this is this is bordering on ridiculous especially since I put my order in ahead of time oh, thank god we're moving sound good. Oh, the popo's in here. Where are they going? Oh, they're going to the bank. That's never a good sign. Do you want a straw for your beverage? Uh, no, I don't need it. Have Thank you. Day. You too. some of this congestion. Green beans go, dude. So I got a venti iced latte with whole milk, vanilla, toffee nut, and mocha. Don't ask me why. That's why it's so brown. Mm, it's actually pretty good. Toffee nut was the closest thing I could think that was like cruise relatable. So, but it's actually actually kind of tasty. So, and I got the bacon gouda egg sandwich, which is my absolute favorite. And now I'm gonna eat it and enjoy this nice little breeze that's coming in actually. And then we'll head into shoe department. Shoe department was a major bust. They don't have anything good in there anymore. I will not be surprised if they go out of business soon. Um, all they had was like decorative flip flops and like the name brands that are extremely uncomfortable. So no way. I mean, there was a pair of Tommy Hill figures for only $10 that I was considering just for, you know, walking on the beach or something but they're not comfortable so I would hate for them to end up having to actually be my flip-flops if these ones break and then be uncomfortable the whole time so yeah, I'm gonna head into Walmart and see what they have usually they only have the cheap crap but we shall see um and then there's a few other things I need to get that are not cruise supplies so I will let you guys know what I find y'all I was gonna get chapstick no way, not for four freaking dollars. How ironic would it be of me to wear this on the cruise?
I swear, Walmart is getting more and more useless. I don't know why I thought I was gonna go in there and find a bunch of stuff because I, I that's naive of me because I know that Walmart does not carry a lot of stuff, at least not our Walmart. Um, sorry if I just made you dizzy there, but here's a quick haul. I did find the creamers that we're taking on the cruise because we don't like black coffee and we are not gonna be able to buy fancy coffees every day. I bought this necklace, which you saw for $4, which it rang up seven and I had to have them adjusted, which that's kind of the whole point of going to self-checkout is so that they don't have to do anything for you. But anywho, um, I got an eyeglass case for my sunglasses that clip onto my glasses, but I might return this because it just seems like a lot of money for not a lot of stuff. So I may return that. And then I got this stitch uh, lanyard for um, the room key. On the cruise um because i guess you have to have it on your person at all times and then i did end up thankfully finding a cheap uh chapstick so that's all i got at uh walmart and yeah even that totaled 27 dollars. safe to say i'm out of money i'm gonna go to the dollar store I'm actually at the dollar store i'm gonna go in the dollar store and if they have a glass case I'm gonna return that one because it's just a lot of money for what it is. Um, and I also am looking for something that's not for the cruise. And so basically the only thing for the cruise that I didn't get besides the wipes to clean our glasses, which I have some at home, so hopefully I have enough because uh, they didn't have any at Walmart. Of course they didn't, is the flip flops. So I'm kind of thinking I might go back and get those Tommy Hill figures just to have um, $10, you know, not a big deal just to have as backups, but I don't know now. Cause I really don't want to have to wear my sneakers the whole time. That would suck. So I don't know. I still have over a week before we go. So maybe I'll just consider some other shoe place. There's really not that many shoe places in our area. So I don't know, but yeah. So I'm gonna head into the dollar store and see if I can get a couple of things for cheap. Apparently I should have come to the dollar store first. I found an eyeglass case, I found chapstick, and a couple other things that I actually wasn't planning on buying for cheap. Why didn't I come to the dollar store first? Because our dollar store sucks and I didn't think they'd have anything. So safe to say on the way home, we're gonna have to swing by Walmart and return just a couple of items. I'm gonna return the eyeglass case and the chapstick, which sucks because I hate doing returns, but you gotta save money where you can save money. Okay. Now that those two things are returned and I did not buy the Tommy Hilfiger flip flops because I went back to shoe department. You can see I'm here now. And they are the kind that have the connector on the bottom rather than the kind that are built in. And those kind always break for me. So I'm not spending $10 on something that's just gonna snap. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I might just have to hope and pray these ones make it through the cruise and yeah, because I can't, there's no way I can wear sneakers the whole time. So I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to ask for Kim's advice and see what she thinks. But barring all of that, the total price that I have spent today is going to give me a heart attack if I have to say all that. So I'll put it on the screen. Yeah, it's safe to say I spent a lot more than I was expecting. I don't know how it added up that fast, but, and that's not including the dress because my mom decided she was going to pay for that for me. So that was very nice of her. But I don't, I, I, I'm gonna have to go home and do the math because I have no idea how it added up that fast. But anyway, at least we are completely stocked up for the cruise and it's a special occasion. So, you know, it's not like it's something I do all the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming along with me while I did my shopping. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a big, big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already and you would like to hit that subscribe button down below, I am Genevieve. I'm 35 years old. I live in upstate New York and I edit and write books. And in case you couldn't figure it out based on the title, the thumbnail, and watching this video, I'm going on a cruise in oh, a little over a week. So yeah, plenty of cruise vlogs coming. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.